Can you run me down the tats? How many are there? I got four. I got four. One on my back, two on my arm, and one on my leg. What is that? that guy, he looks like a, a mighty warrior of sorts who's, who's yeah. got a, 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 has an issue with skulls, maybe. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I like warriors. That's how I like. Back in 2008, the Minnesota Timberwolves took a chance, and with their 31st overall pick drafted Montenegrin center Nikola Pekovic. By that time, Pekovic was already sort of a legend in Europe. He had won two Adriatic Leagues, two Serbian League championships, and made all Euroleague teams. At 6'11 and more than 300 pounds, he was an imposing figure in the middle. The one that would earn success in the NBA, as well as outside of the NBA and, unfortunately, also in the criminal world. Hey guys, it's good to be back. This is Purple Prince and today let's talk about the Montenegrin godfather, Nikola Pekovic. After being drafted in 2008, Pekovic didn't make the jump to the NBA until 2010. Because of an ongoing and a better paid basketball career in Europe, Pekovic decided to stay there. During that period, he became a two-time Greek League champion, a EuroLeague champion and made all EuroLeague first team he had established himself as one of Europe's elite centers. After two more successful seasons in Europe, Pekovic finally made the jump to the NBA on a three-year deal worth 13 million. His adaption to North America was quite slow. As a 25-year-old rookie, he played only 13.6 minutes per game and averaged 5.5 points and three rebounds. In the 2011-12 lockout shortened season, Pekovic had a chance to step in to become the Timberwolves starting center. He used that opportunity pretty well, as his playing time almost doubled and his production skyrocketed. In his second season, Pekovic averaged 13.9 points and 7.4 rebounds. He finished third in voting for the Most Improved Player award. By the start of his third NBA season, Pekovic was the unquestioned starting center of the Minnesota Timberwolves. Together with the team's superstar Kevin Love, they formed a quite intimidating frontcourt duo. Pekovic to date had his best season in the league, averaging 16.3 points and 8.8 .8 rebounds. Kevin Love was at his greatest and the Timberwolves managed to win 31 games, the first such season since the departure of Kevin Garnett. His performance was awarded with a brand new 5-year $60 million contract. It seemed like his career was trending upwards, but unfortunately injuries started to wear him down. An ankle injury he sustained in January of 2014 limited him to just 54 games, but he still managed to average a career-high 17.5 points and 8.7 rebounds. Unfortunately, it was just the beginning. Seeing as the Timberwolves aren't going anywhere with this group, they traded their superstar Kevin Love to Cleveland. That pretty much meant that the team is about to get into the rebuild. Additionally, injuries continued to hinder Pekovic, who participated in only 31 games because of that. His playing time went down and so did his production. In hopes to address the situation, Pekovic had surgery on his right Achilles tendon. He was out until January 2016 and in total played just in 12 games that season. Those 12 games ended up to be the last of his NBA career. Before the 2016-17 season, Pekovic was ruled out for the entire season because of right ankle pain, and after the season, he was waived by the Timberwolves. In total, during six seasons in the NBA, Nikola Pekovic played in just 271 games and averaged 12.6 points and 6.7 rebounds. That was his professional basketball career, but it seems he's also developed quite a career in the criminal world. Over the years, Pekovic has been connected to several underworld figures. In November of 2017, the Belgrade police found drugs and guns in an Audi A4 which was registered to former NBA player Nikola Pekovic. One of the passengers was employed as a part of Pekovic's personal security. And yes, while Pekovic himself wasn't in the car, the passengers were closely linked to Darko and Dusko Sarge. The brothers reportedly are two of the biggest drug traffickers in the entire world, who allegedly have smuggled tons of cocaine from South America to Europe. Pekovic never has denied his friendship with Dusko Sarge, he even told he's the godfather of his child. Pekovic also has numerous business investments with Darko Sarge in Serbia and Montenegro, and in October of 2018, he took over 1.15 million euro depth of Dusko. Darko Sarge was recently sentenced to 9 years in jail for money laundering, and he's been pretty close with Pekovic as well. Those are the types of people Nikola hangs or hanged out with. 
Pekovic reportedly owns a nightclub and a hotel which are also linked to Darko Sarge who currently serves a prison sentence. The same hotel where he had a wedding with his wife Violeta Milinkovic and reportedly received about 200,000 euros in cash from wedding guests. Dushko Sarge was his best man at the wedding. And if you can believe what people are writing on the internet, Pekovic now is known more for being a mobster, not a professional basketball player. We obviously can't approve or deny these facts as he hasn't been charged with anything himself, but there's no doubt that all of this is not good. The last news heard about Pekovic was that he was hospitalized after getting infected with COVID-19. The original report stated that he was in a serious condition with a respirator helping fight inflammation in both lungs. But since then his family has said that he's in a stable condition and the doctors are monitoring him daily. So let's hope he gets healthy soon and maybe finds himself a better group of people to hang out with. Thanks for watching the video guys. What do you know about Nikola Pekovic? Do you think he could have become an even greater force in the NBA if not for the injuries? What are your thoughts on his godfather persona? Please leave a comment down below with your thoughts. Don't forget to like the video and share it with others. And please subscribe to the channel. Thanks. This is Purple Prince and I'm out. Yeah.